بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون مائی نیم از محمد عمار اینڈ آئی ایم اے اسٹوڈنٹ آف بی ایس زولوجی ان دس ویڈیو ٹیوٹوریل آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دی چیپٹر دیٹ از دا اینڈوکرائن سسٹم اینڈ کیمیکل میسنجر اور کمیونیکیشن ٹو دس از آلسو کال دا اینڈوکرائنولوجی In this chapter, we will discuss the chemical messengers, hormones and their feedback system, mechanism of hormone action, some invertebrate hormones, overview of vertebrate endocrine systems, endocrine system of vertebrates other than birds and mammals, and the last one that is the endocrine system of birds and mammals, which will be discussed in detail. and in this topic we will discuss all the endocrine glands of mammals uh, including human beings so the topic we are going to start today that is the chemical messengers first of all we will define the endocrine system the endocrine system of the body is regulating system which consists of endocrine glands now what are the endocrine glands these are the glands of endocrine systems that secrete their products which may be the hormones directly into the blood rather than through a duct and the gland which secrete their products through the ducts we know that they are called exocrine glands and the study of the endocrine glands and their hormones is called endocrinology so this is the short introduction of endocrine systems endocrine glands and endocrinology The topic that is we have to start today that is chemical messengers. The molecules that are synthesized or secreted by specialized cells that serve to transmit a message, a special message. These are the chemicals which are produced by specialized cells and they have to convey a special message or they have to serve or transmit a special message. these may be categorized into different categories the first one that is the local chemical messengers the neurotransmitters neuropeptides hormones and the pheromones first of all we will discuss the local chemical messengers those chemical messengers which act on the adjacent cells and do not accumulate in the blood or the blood stream these chemicals show their effect on the cells which are near to it uh, the target cells are the adjacent to the producing cells for example the lumens these chemicals produced by gut and help to regulate the digestion gut produce these chemicals and which are helpful in the digestion so these are near to the or we can say the adjacent cells and the second one that is the histamine histamine is secreted in wound or cut condition by the mast cells which participate in the inflammatory response or the allergic response during wound or a cut histamine is secreted by the adjacent mast cells and which participate in the inflammatory response or the allergic response now look at the diagrams we can say we can see that the regulatory cells secreting the local chemical messengers and the target cells that is the adjacent to the regulatory cells mean the target cell is next to the regulatory cells or the near to the regulatory cells so they release the chemical messengers which have effect on the target cells the next one is the neurotransmitters as represented by the name these chemicals are secreted by neurons to the synaptic cleft or the junction between the neurons by diffusion and after secretion from one neuron and they by diffusion cross the synaptic cleft or the synapse or the junctions and affect the transfer of the impulse to the another nerve fiber or the muscle fiber or the some other structures so the neurotransmitter are secreted by one neurons 
and have effect secrete these are secreted into the synaptic left and they have effect on the next target cell and the next target cells may be a neuron a muscle fiber or some other structure that may be a gland these reach high concentration in synaptic left and quickly actively degraded and recycled they may be degraded or the recycled for example the nitric oxides or the acetylcholines are the examples of the neurotransmitters look at the diagrams the regulatory cells which is a neuron secreting neurotransmitters into the synaptic left and then they reach their high concentration in the synaptic left and they affect the next target cells which may be a neuron a muscle cells or any other structures that may be the glands the next one is the neuropeptides the neuropeptides are also known as neurohormones and these are secreted by some specialized neurons which are called the neurosecretory cells the neurosecretory cells are the neuron or the nerve fibers which translate the neural signal to the chemical stimuli these are transported by blood to the non adjacent cells where they exert their effect so in case of neuropeptides these are transported by blood to the non adjacent cells and the target cell may be far away from the regulatory cells look at the diagram we can see that the neurosecretory cells are secreting neuropeptides directly into the blood streams and it travels via the blood streams to the target cell which is non adjacent to the regulatory cells for example in mammals certain nerve cells in the hypothalamus releases a neuropeptide that causes the pituitary gland to release the hormone oxytocin so hypothalamus releases the neuropeptides which causes the pituitary glands to release hormone oxytocin which may induce a powerful uterine contractions during the delivery of offspring the next one that is chemical messenger is the hormones we'll discuss hormones in details in the next video tutorials and here we'll see as a just chemical messenger hormones are secreted by endocrine glands or cells and are transported via blood stream to the non adjacent target cells for example the hormones may be the all the hormones of the endocrine glands may be somatotrophin that is the growth hormone thyroid stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone and oxytocin and so on so look at the diagram these are secreted by the regulatory cells to the blood streams and they affect the target cell and travel via blood stream and these are produced by the endocrine glands and the last chemical messengers that is the pheromones yet we have discussed the chemical messengers which are produced in an individual and have effect in the same individual but pheromones are chemical messengers these release to the exterior of one animal and that affect the behavior of an other animal of the same species here it is produced by one organisms and if have effect on other organism but the condition is the organism may be of the same species there are a lot of example of the pheromones we'll discuss some of them for example female moths these produce and release pheromones that attract the males when they have to mate with the males or uh, for the mating purpose the female of moths they produce chemicals which attracts the males and the next is uh, example in ants in case of ants we see that ants are usually traveling in a straight row to find the food why it is so this is because of the chemicals secreted by the ants ants secrete the chemicals and the following ants follow them by smell of that chemicals these chemicals are the pheromones which secreted by ants which help them to find their path 
and to find the food sources look at the diagram in this we can see that they are shown butterflies one is secreting the regulatory uh, the chemicals produced by the regulatory cells and the other organism is affected by this so this was all the chemical mess this was each and everything about chemical messengers and in the next video tutorial we'll talk about the hormone and their feedback system thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for further videos and don't forget to press bell icon button